Hi, my name is Patrick Tripp from Redpoint Global. Over the next few minutes, I'll take you through the omni-channel customer journey at Keurig Green Mountain, and then describe how we make this happen within the Redpoint Customer Engagement Hub solution. For the consumer journey, we'll show an email campaign arriving to an existing Keurig customer. From there, we'll click through the email and land on the Keurig website, where we'll explore the customer profile in various states and view offers that are presented. From there, we'll register a new brewer, which will trigger a new email campaign with additional offers, including the Perfect Cup survey experience. We'll then take a look at the survey and recommendations that are generated and make an additional purchase, which will trigger a transactional email confirmation, which we'll view on a mobile device. Next, we'll view how this is all possible for the marketer within the Redpoint Customer Engagement Hub solution. We'll show dashboards on how to access a single view of the consumer, We'll show how to access and manage roles, calendar, forecasting, and distributed models. Next, we'll show campaigns and triggered messages, including how to create audiences, emails, and assets. Then we'll show how to apply analytics to campaigns to assign coupons or automate segments. We'll take a quick peek at product recommendation capabilities and the underlying data management capabilities that make this possible. Then we'll show how ABN tests are constructed along with real-time decisions for web pages. We'll briefly discuss how to construct landing pages. And to close out, we'll show how to access DMP data and descriptive analytics through out-of-the-box reports and hooks into best-of-breed solutions like Power BI. OK, we're going to start with an email received from Keurig, holiday-related emails regarding a one-day sale and clicking through on that email to Keurig.com, and in this case, this promotion has expired. By going back to the main Keurig page, you'll see it's recognizing, hi, Patrick, but it's not fully authenticated, not fully logged in. Um, this is because I've been on the site in the past. And here you'll see um, on Keurig.com, on the main page, is a carousel around bestsellers. This is Redpoint's product recommendation engine live in place, uh, recommending these specific K-Cups. And there's a number of A-B tests that are happening here, um, alternating between personalized recommendations and more of a, a generic offer set. And this approach has already had a massive improvement for Keurig. So we can see the experience here coming to Keurig.com. We can also take a look at what this might look like for a first-time visitor on Keurig.com. You'll see they're presented with a 20% off uh, first Keurig.com purchase offer. It doesn't recognize the individual. It does present a New Year deal coupon code to the individual. But going back to the Keurig.com profile, we'll decide to log in here. And if we go under My Account, we'll see that there's an entire preference center in place at Keurig, allowing the consumer to update their password, their profile, their interests, their address, as well as look at specific brewers that they've registered before. That's really what we're hoping to do here is register an appliance. And we'll register a new brewer, put in a code here. Your brewer is registered. Congratulations. And now it's presenting some additional content to follow up. OK, here's an example of a confirmation email from Keurig congratulating you on registering your coffee maker. You'll see that there's a specific coupon and a coupon code here to additional uh, products as well as the opportunity to click into an offer they call the Perfect Cup, which is an interactive quiz to understand consumer preferences. We'll take a visit to the quiz page. Here we'll see the Perfect Cup. 
We'll take a quiz to understand coffee style and profile and the recommendations that are happening here are powered by Redpoint. Um, so we'll see here, my coffee style is set in stone. I'm interested in caffeinated. Uh, I like my coffee to taste more smooth and usually take my coffee with milk, cream, or sugar. And my aroma typically uh, reminds me of caramel. And what's happening here is Redpoint is providing a specific set of recommendations based on uh, K cups that are available as well as quiz question answers. So there's thousands of combinations that could happen and here are the four specific K cups um, that are recommended. So I'm going to add one of these to my cart and then decide to check out and apply the coupon code that was given. And I have just confirmed my order. Here you'll see that I've received an order confirmation from Keurig confirming my order with a specific order number, mailing address, and time frame for delivery, as well as additional information and additional offers to consider. This completes the consumer side of the Keurig story. But next, we'd like to talk to you about how we actually make this happen for marketers within the Redpoint Customer Engagement Hub. Here you'll find the main landing page for the Redpoint Customer Engagement Hub. Marketers can easily customize the dashboards to meet their needs, including reports, weather, blogs, Twitter feeds, and even channel performance like email, Facebook, landing pages, and even Internet of Things. And it's easy for marketers to configure new dashboard parts by clicking and adding new attributes to a channel such as SMS. And here you'll see the performance of the Twilio SMS channel over time. So very easy for marketers to manage this dashboard and even choose specific role dashboards that fit their role or their organization. So let's take a look at a specific report, the single customer view. This is taking a look at a specific consumer and looking at a snapshot of their information. This could be PII, this could be web visit activity, Keurig points, for example. And on the left-hand side, you can see the customer journey, all the different touch points this consumer has engaged with the brand from an outbound and inbound standpoint, and that can easily be filtered by the marketer. And here on the right, you can see a number of recommendations uh, that the system has generated for this individual and the ability for the marketer or the customer service person to accept or reject an offer and automatically redecision the next best offer based on that profile history. We also have the ability to look at devices used, marketing mix, and even previous transaction history. So a single customer view really allows marketers and customer facing individuals to really have a single view of the consumer's history. There are a number of ways individuals and groups can collaborate on campaign planning and forecasting. So for example, on the right-hand side, we have a concept of pulses where you can post different notices to individuals and collaborate across marketing and different groups. You can also click on your profile and change your description of your role, your themes, alerts, options, and passwords. You can also click on configuration and really be a part of a number of different groups with different permissions. So for example, the real-time only group only has access to the real-time decisions capabilities within the platform. And this could be a similar approach with content designers or executives only having a fit-for-purpose view of the platform. In addition to the profile and collaboration, there are a number of campaign planning capabilities within Redpoint's platform. We'll take a look at a calendar view here through the month of December, and specifically the holiday brewer registration campaign being run by Keurig. And here you have the ability to create forecasts and tests to take a look at numbers of campaigns and drill into specific campaigns. But you also have the ability to look at nodes and you may have a number of brands that are a part of a corporate umbrella and each individual brand might be running their own campaigns and their own distributed marketing programs. And here you have the ability to separate those off and have visibility into all the different specific nodes of an entire corporate brand.
Marketers have all the tools needed to design customer journeys, audiences, emails, and assets all within the customer engagement hub. If we look on the right-hand side, we can drill into a specific interaction or campaign that was designed for Keurig in their holiday brewer registration process. On the left-hand side, what you see here are a number of components that allow you to build customer journeys from the workflow controls to triggered messages, audiences, as well as analytics. And here on the right-hand side is the palette where you can bring these shapes in and design the customer journey. So what's being represented here is the actual registration of a brewer. We're receiving that event upon registration. We're making that information available uh, for use on the website for real-time decisions. And here at the bottom is really the orchestration of the actual campaign from the start shape to the specific audience that was generated of 253 to a specific email to a delay to then a follow-up audience and a follow-up message to continue through for the customer journey. So here we can drill into a specific email asset and we can see the content creation process and here it's very easy to drag and drop content into a, a layout that can be designed for email campaigns and you can visualize that content right within our digital assets folder here are specific k cups but you also have the ability to bring digital assets in from additional systems and redpoint supports a number of them including a few here amazon s3 azure webdam and you have the ability to through an API, connect right into those systems and bring those digital assets to life as well, right within the emails. Here within the email creation uh, editor, you can drop in personalization fields, handwriting, previous purchases, and even preview email content. In addition to creating email content, we have a number of wizards that help accelerate the process of getting campaigns out the door. For example, sending emails within a few clicks. By clicking on the email wizard, it really sets you through a process where it allows you to pick an audience through selection rules, which are specific attributes, or through audiences, which are more aggregations. And we'll here we'll pick an audience of last audience and continue. And we can name this uh, interaction or campaign. And we'll uh, stub this out. So within a couple of clicks, you'll see that we're able to create the very uh, basic pieces of the campaign, which allow with the start shape to the uh, lapsed audience to the actual email. And you can click into the audience and view that audience. An audience design within uh, Redpoint is, is quite straightforward. Um, again, from the left-hand side, you have the ability to use selection rules or audiences. Selection rules are at the more discrete level, allowing you to pick any attribute from the database that you're working with. This could be gender and associating uh, gender values. Um, gender is equal to male, for example, and creating that in your selections and then saving those selections and essentially viewing them in aggregates as an audience. And here in an audience we've called LAFS audience. You can see that these are all Redpoint customers and they're suppressed against those that have, uh, have null emails and they're split by individual or group. So it's easy to pick an audience within the Redpoint solution and then associate specific content to that. And again, you can choose right from the uh, channel configuration a specific uh, content piece to choose within your campaign. And you can be off and running within a few clicks. There are a number of other channels that Redpoint supports beyond email. Here you see a few examples, including uh, Internet of Things. We're connected into uh, an IoT connected brewer at Keurig currently. Um, gaming systems, SMS providers like Twilio, Facebook ads and marketing, Spark Post, there's a number of other channels that we can work with. Um, another interesting piece to understand is uh, what we call QListener. And this is really the opportunity to send triggered and transactional messages and really wait for a queue that could be uh, a card abandonment, it could be a session abandon, um, any kind of event that we can capture in the system and then trigger off another communication, which could be a confirmation, it could be another specific offer, and that could be in a number of channels from email to direct mail and others. In addition to campaign orchestration and segmentation, Redpoint allows marketers to easily apply analytics right within the customer journey to automate and scale targeting and selections. So for example, here in the Keurig cross-channel campaign, 
On the left-hand side, you'll see a number of components, including the data process component. By bringing this right within the campaign, this allows you to apply analytics right in line within the customer journey. So this might include a channel preference model, a data process concurrency, machine learning classification, propensity to buy, propensity to churn, or even a couponing job. And essentially, any data job that's generated in the data management application can be brought right within the customer journey to again, automate and scale the segmentation process, really allowing marketers more versatility in scale as they build out larger and more complicated campaigns. Let's take a brief look at where the data management and analytics jobs can be created. Redpoint's customer data platform allows organizations to build a single view of the customer, then generate insights and analytics to take the next best action. Here on the left, you'll see Redpoint has hundreds of data quality, ingestion, management, and matching process components to work with. On the right, you'll see a number of different jobs that have been created, including first, couponing. As we showed earlier in the customer journey, we have the ability to create a data flow that essentially assigns coupons to individual consumers based on their eligibility and ensures that after a coupon is used, it is not applied again and is not duplicated across a number of different consumers. In addition to the couponing, let's take a look at the product recommendation capability we showcased earlier on Keurig.com. Here you'll see a product recommendation project built within Redpoint Data Management that allows organizations to score products in consumers based on preferences, attributes, history. So here, the tool is generating uh, specific recommendations for customers uh, based on their flavor profile from the Perfect Cup quiz. And what you'll see at the bottom are essentially a series of scores um, placed against specific products and customers to recommend which are the most relevant to produce. So as we saw on Keurig.com, the Perfect Cup quiz, from all of the hundreds and thousands of combinations of quiz questions and product recommendations, those specific recommendations are generated in real time for each consumer. Beyond product recommendations, Redpoint has a number of additional capabilities that enable marketers to deliver real-time experiences on the web. Here you'll see Redpoint's real-time decisions workspace, essentially a set of business rules that marketers can create to determine what content offers or messages are delivered at a specific time based on date, context, web events, a number of other areas. So on the left-hand side, you'll see a palette of different business rules that can be generated by a marketer. We have a browser type. You might be able to choose um, a specific channel or interaction name. On web events, it could be a form submission or a link click or a page visit. And we'll bring in a web tracking business rule, which allows us to determine based on the number of pages visited, number of visits to a page, uh, language or mobile, a number of different areas, really essentially determining the eligibility of content for any anonymous or known visitor on a website. Redpoint goal-driven assets allow marketers to create and conduct ABN tests and apply machine learning to the process. Here you'll see the development of a new goal-driven asset. It's very easy to add additional assets to compare. And essentially, you can have a publishing mode of publishing this to a landing page of the goal, or publish for use on an external page of the goal, or publish for any page and use for a separate remote goal. But essentially, you can drag in assets uh, from your existing content management or a third-party content management system, and you could determine weightings to override in the process. You can also choose between traditional ABN testing as well as a machine learning approach, which will automatically determine the right components and results uh, to test. And from the properties, you can view the test uh, duration. You can choose a holdout group. Uh, significance threshold, as well as publish this content to a web page to cache um, and have content be sticky over time. So really, it starts here by developing the goal-driven asset, and then you can apply this to a landing page. The creation of landing pages within Redpoint is an easy drag-and-drop process. As you see here, it's very similar to the email asset creation process. On the left-hand side, we have digital assets. We can drag them right into the screen. We can choose specific cells in different sizes. 
You can choose elements to add, which could be Facebook login, pages, social plugins, handwriting, and even surveys. You can add specific links to the landing page. And then you can apply uh, titles and goals. By applying goal-driven assets to this page, you can then generate a more specific personalized experience for consumers. There are a number of data-driven and reporting capabilities in the Redpoint Customer Engagement Hub. First, let's take a look at Redpoint's connections with best-of-breed data onboarding tools and DMPs, such as LiveRamp and KBM Zipline. So essentially, what this allows marketers to do on the left-hand side from the dashboard is access a DMP and actually create custom audiences and conduct acquisition strategies right from within Redpoint. So the way you would start this as a marketer is you would create a campaign, a simple campaign that has a start workflow. You pick a specific audience that you're looking for. This might be high value customers with emails. And then you essentially choose the Zipline DMP uh, component and bring that into the workflow and click run. And what you're doing is you're actually onboarding this data right into Zipline. So as you see on the dashboard, we can click on Zipline and this takes you right into the actual uh, application of the Zipline DMP. And so what you'll see when you get in there is you have over a billion targetable profiles. You can create custom audiences within the DMP of everything from age, gender to household income down to very specific demographic audiences around uh, multi-channel reach, analytics. Uh, this could be TV viewing, data pros, Experian. There's a lot of different areas that you can drill into. But what we'll do here specifically is we'll look at specific audiences that were onboarded from Redpoint. And we can view these audiences here. And when you click on one of these audiences, what essentially you can do is you can include this audience as an include or an exclude to a specific custom audience that you're building. You can also click distribute audience. And what that allows you to do is activate that audience to a DSP or demand side platform for subsequent ad targeting. So maybe we'll choose rocket fuel here. And on the bottom left-hand side, you'll see you have the opportunity to create lookalike models, which might increase 2x, 4x uh, the size of your audience and allow you to, again, really target uh, specific audiences for ads based on the profiles that you created within Redpoint. And the really unique piece here is that you actually can take some of that insight, some of those audiences back into Redpoint and bring those back in as an audience, specifically the first-party data insights that you collect on your sites. You can bring those back into Redpoint and create audiences and then conduct direct marketing campaigns such as email or direct mail to those consumers. Redpoint has simple out-of-the-box reports that give marketers insight into performance of emails and cross-channel campaigns. So here from the dashboard, you can see on the left-hand side, you have the ability to go right into reports, and that will give you access to a series of new reports that are available within the platform that allow you to visualize performance uh, by interaction and execution date, for example. Here you'll see a targeting mix between email and data extract and other. And you can sort and filter this stuff by specific channels and different areas. Another report is called marketing mix by channel. It's another one that you can filter by specific channels. You can filter by specific campaigns or interactions to give you some quick insight into performance. There are a number of other reports around email performance that show targeted emails, sends, clicks, and bounces, email clicks by date, open and clicks by event date, top performing links across all campaigns, and target interactions uh, by execution date. So a number of out-of-the-box reports that can be accessed within the Redpoint platform, and you just need to leverage the uh, Power BI free workbook download. And speaking of Power BI, that's one of the many third-party BI tools that we support um, from the platform. So if you do have Power BI, it's very easy to access that from within Redpoint. As you'll see on the left-hand side here, we have Keurig Power BI. And this will link you right into uh, a Power BI instance where you can, can visualize the impact of emails and other channel performing activities. You can see here demographics and targets disposition rates, opens, clicks, bounces, unsubscriptions, basic metrics around email offers and conversions and, and revenue, uh, email accounts optimization, sales maps. You can actually interact and drill into specific regions and understand the performance across different geographies, uh, drill into specific segments, 
product mixes, and a number of different areas. So that's just one example of a third-party BI solution that Redpoint supports natively through APIs and can be accessed right within the dashboard. Thank you for watching our videos on the Redpoint Customer Engagement Hub solution. Feel free to contact me for more information at patrick.trip at redpointglobal.com. And for more information about Redpoint and to follow up, you can contact us at contact.us at redpointglobal.com. Thank you.